Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My usual chair has actually been taken from me today. I don't know if you can see. Yep, there we go. But he is the king. I'll let him have what he wants. <laughs> so I was actually going to do a reaction to the Danish Melody Grand Prix. And then I found out how bad it was again. <laughs> Uh, so I thought, you know what, I won't do a video for that. I have heard the Danish songs now, or snippets of them anyway, and yeah, they're not great. So I didn't do a whole video for that, but what I will do a video for now is Serbia's national final. There's been quite a lot of hype and excitement for this, actually. It could be because Constructor is back from 2022. Although I think because she's done it before, I'm not sure if this will have the same effect. But there is a lot of excitement for her coming back. Um, also, uh, Philip, is it Balosh? Philip Balosh? I know he's done it before. I don't remember his song. I don't really know him. But people are going mad over him. People are raving about him. So... There's obviously a lot of hype over him as well, and there could be some other returnees that I just can't remember or haven't seen. I think Serbia are always very interesting and very diverse in Eurovision. They've always been something different. We've had Luke Black, Constructor, I like Hurricane, uh, 2021, I like that. I like 2018, uh, of course, Molly Farr. The winner, 2007, a beautiful song, I love that. So yeah, they're always switching it up, you know, doing something different. They've got some good stuff over the years, so hopefully they've got something good in here <laughs> somewhere. So there's two semi-finals at the end of February, and then the final on March the 2nd. I got that from the calendar. <laughs> Eurovision World is just the best website that you can get. For Eurovision, it's just so helpful to have everything there on that calendar. So I always look at Eurovision World, I recommend. Okay, so I'm going to watch a recap video. And when I look at the comments of the video, there's a lot of people mentioning the name Theodora. That name is popping up a lot. So let's find out, will this live up to the hype? Hopefully. Okay. Okay, okay. Already it's pretty interesting. If there's two semi finals, then there's probably quite a lot of entries, maybe like 20. Okay. They're giving like early 2000s kind of vibe so far. <laughs> I mean, it's already better than Denmark. <laughs> okay, not sure about that one. So I'm looking out for the name Theodora, apparently. That is one to watch. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting look. <laughs> hmm. Nothing's jumping out at me so far. But I think 
they're gonna get better. I think there could be potential somewhere. I feel like at some point I am gonna hear one that jumps out at me. Hopefully. It's a lot of very upbeat ones. Not bad. I'm still waiting. Oh, I like her look. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's quite epic. That could be something. Yeah, some of them I don't like. Okay. I've got some more. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the one. And they're all in Serbian, which is good. I think they usually are. Or at least part, you know, Serbian. Okay, some of them are kind of similar to each other. Hmm. Oh, that's Philip, okay. And I, I don't remember his song from last year. I don't know what that was like. Maybe that could be a favour. I don't know. I mean, people seem to like him. I really like the language. I've always liked this kind of language. Colo. Oh. Luna Park. Interesting name for a song. <laughs> Is it about somebody called Luna Park? Hmm, I haven't really found one that's really jumping out at me so far. Oh, okay. So this is Teodora. Hmm. Hmm, okay, I'm not getting much from that. Oh. Oh, this is different. Hmm. No, see, I feel like the first time around was the best. I don't think that's going to have the same impact. There's a lot of like Euro dance early 2000s <laughs> kind of sounding. 
Well, that's it. Oh, God. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to have to... to really sort of dig into this more because nothing's really jumping out at me. But then everyone is saying a Teodora constructor. Hmm. I feel like constructor... I only hear like a few seconds of that, but you know, first time round in Capone Sano, that was more iconic, I think, and more striking. I don't know if this will be quite as good as that, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm currently listening to Teodora's song in full, Ramonda. Starting off nice. I do love a Balkan ballad. Balkan ballads are usually very nice. Very atmospheric. Very quiet. I wonder if it's going to build up anywhere. Hmm. It's very quiet, very low key. Hmm. I mean, it's nice, but hmm, it needs more of a build up, I think, for it to be really dramatic. But it's nice. Okay, I'm going to listen to Constructor. I think she's got the most views on the YouTube channel, but that's probably because of who she is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's have a listen. Oh, did she say doctor? Is it about health again? <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot more upbeat. It doesn't feel as theatrical as Incorpore Sano. It's very different to that, actually. But it's got those backing vocals that she had before. Although I say it's not as theatrical, but I'm sure she will make it theatrical on stage. I'm not sure about this, though. I'm not really enjoying it. I mean, I didn't enjoy Incorporate Sano at first, but then I ended up really liking it by the end. <laughs> When it actually went to Eurovision, I did actually like it, but I'm not liking this on first listen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to need some some help <laughs> with this from you. Which ones do you think I should pay more attention to? Have I listened to the two favourites there from Teodora and Constructor? I'll listen to Philip's song as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing's really jumping out at me, but maybe they'll come alive, live, <laughs> and maybe because there's so many of them, you can kind of get, get lost with them and you kind of lose track of them because there's so many of them, so that could be part of the problem as well, but, um, yeah, I will definitely listen more closely to them and get back into them. I mean, Teodora's song, it sounded, you know, promising. It was a really nice, dramatic ballad. Could have staging potential, maybe. So maybe that could be the one, but I'm not completely sure on the first listen of all of them. Well, thank you anyway, as always, for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are, which do you think is the best which are the popular ones that everyone's 
talking about do you think it could be constructor again i'm not sure i wasn't a fan of her song on the first listen but her performance should be interesting because you know she's very creative theatrical it might make it more interesting but let me know what your favorites are whatever they are and yeah that was my reaction to another national final i'm sure there'll be yet another one coming up i know we've got Ireland Luxembourg I'll probably watch them but not do videos for them and then we've got a lot more coming up the week after that so I will see you at some point for another video I'm just not sure what yet <laughs> but until then thank you for watching take care bye